Hi. So today uh, we are going to explore um, how to use Google Colab to generate a depth map from your RGB video. Um, and we are going to use it um, two ways in Unreal uh, for compositing purpose. So first we're going to look at how to generate the um, depth map. We are using Google Colab. Um, second, um, we're going to use the generated depth map as a procedural garbage mat to do background rejection. Um, and the third, we're going to try to use that depth map to generate the normals uh, for highlighting purposes. So first, um, you go to this link and just click open in call app here. You're going to want to change your runtime to GPU and then uh, click on files. After it's uh, initialized, and then you can run number um, this first code block. And anyway, after that's done, you hit here, do refresh. You'll see there's an input and results folder. So we wanna put our input video on the input folder. So I have this um, input video. We're going to put that here under inputs. We're going to right click, copy path, change this one here, and define whatever um, file name you want for the output and then hand this. As you see, this model um, is around four or five FPS. So this is done. It generates our output um, file. We're going to go ahead and download this. And you see um, it generates this um, dev map. Okay, so um, number one is done. So next we are going to use that dev map in um, Unreal. Open up this link, download this folder containing all the U assets. You'll have to navigate to your content folder in Explorer, do not import it directly in Unreal. And just paste all the U asset um, here on, on the uh, Windows Explorer. It should show up um, here on, the, on, on your content browser. First, we're going to make um, a, a simple key here with the media and we are going to use the depth map to do um, uh, some procedural uh, garbage mat. So first um, we are going to create a media player. Call this RGB media. And then we're going to create another media for the def. Call this def media. We want to create the file media source for RGB and copy that. Make another one for the def. Open up RGB source. Find your RGB video, save that. Let's do the same thing with the def source, but you're gonna use the output uh, from Google Call app. Save that. So next, open up your take recorder and sequencer. 
you want to add the media two media tags here one for def and one for rgb you're going to select your media texture here Let's make it um, looping and also this one. Okay, open up your composure window, create a new comp. Add a media plate. And we want to key this footage. Okay, so next we are going to generate a def mat using the def um, source. So we're gonna add another media plate, call this def. We're gonna remove all the chroma keying transform. Pull down your def media here, okay? So we're going to add another layer on top of the depth. Let's call this depth mat. And this will need this material right here. Select your def pass. So the idea here is you can reject the background. Using your def pass. So after that, you want to come together the result of the keyer with the um, def mat. So go to your comp and we're gonna need two passes here. Pass through and the, the def mat comp. Select your media, so this is the result of your key. Then def mat comp. Select prepass as the um, key. So it will get it'll this will pass through the key result here. As you see here, we are able to mat garbage mat all the things from the background, although our key is not um, perfect. This is because we're using the def mat and estimating uh, uh, where the talent is. Okay, after that, we're, we're going to use the same def map to generate uh, normals. 
again, I click here, add a layer element called normals from def. We're going to bring this down here and we're going to have to reconnect We're going to have to reconnect where the def is. So we want def mat from here, right? So how do we get normals from the def map? We're going to need these three materials, rescale, blur, and normal from def. Same thing, we're going to add three transform rescale get the def source and then you get blur repass and then finally normal from def pass okay next we want to output both the normal and the key result to a separate render target so I have two render target here RT def and RT key so first we go to the com result do an output here and the target push it here and then this one the normals we also want to push it out to this one RT normal Next, we are going to create a plane mesh with this material. You can change the uh, normal strength over here.
All right. So that's the uh, compositing with depth map. Uh, some limitations. It's not a cure all. So um, if you have bad lighting, uh, it, you won't be able to fix the shadows because the color information is not there. Uh, secondly, the quality uh, of the depth map relies on the train model. So this one, I'm using the model I find that's quick enough, uh, but still gives a good result. There are better models, but uh, they run quite slow. So future search, um, I'm searching for a real-time solution. So it will be balanced between quality and um, FPS. I'm aiming for 30. And also, um, I'm searching for a model that can generate an absolute distance in meters instead of relative values. So thanks for eBuy. Um, I fork his implementation of the uh, def map using Midas network to create the uh, Google Call app. Um, thanks for 3DSF for the discussion um, on, on Midas and also Andy uh, Blondin um, on how to sync different media texture, in, in this case, syncing the depth map with the uh, RGB media. That's all. Thank you.